Hi, Movie Story Recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a 2020 supernatural horror film called, Ghosts of War. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The film starts at the end of World War II. Some of the American soldiers slept in the woods. Chris, a soldier, has a nightmare. He awakens, terrified, and notices someone in front of him on the tree. He had his gaze fixed on him. He is about to shoot Chris with his gun. Chris closes his eyes. However, time passes, and no one shoots. When he opens his eyes, he sees no one. The following morning, the group makes its way to the outpost. When they arrive, they hear strange voices. They immediately flee. There was their enemy's jeep. They go to them while blasting it. They start ending the remaining soldiers. Chris's companions take out the gold teeth from the soldier's mouth. They discover their post while taking a map from them. One of the companions of Chris, Butchie, sees a German soldier who is still alive. He challenges him to a fight. The soldier was putting up a good fight against Butchie. Then Chris shoots him from behind. On the way, they felt someone is coming to them. They hurriedly sit down. They notice a survivor's group in front of them, in which, a lady was taking her son somewhere. They have nothing to keep themselves warm. Chris gives them the soldier's coat and golden teeth also. Chris tells his group the post where they'll be going to is a castle. They have to protect it. When they reach the castle, the guard was sleeping outside the castle. As he notices the group coming, he awakes and tells his group they can leave now. They get ready immediately. Chris was surprised why they were in a hurry to leave. Even it was good and a safe place. Their commander tells Chris that something feels strange. Butchie asks them to leave their radio. In the next scene, these soldiers are shown cooking in the kitchen. Meanwhile, Eugene and Butchie were exploring this castle. Eugene notices a piano during the visit to the castle. He starts playing it. The voice of this piano reaches all the corners of the house. Meanwhile, Chris hears an unknown voice from a room. While following the voice, he goes to an abandoned room. There are burned spots on the floor everywhere. Butchie also feels there is someone in the washroom. He finds the door locked when he tries to open it. The door opens automatically when he leaves. As they ate, they heard strange voices. They decided to check out where the noise were coming from. Butchie checks everywhere on the second floor. Chris hears a voice. As he moves towards the voice, he reaches a room. Everything is covered, but now they are feeling noise from another direction. There was another door. As they move to the door, the door opens automatically. As they move the curtain, they see the shadow of a hanged dead body on the window. Suddenly, the wind blows and the curtain of the windows moves away. The reflection of the dead body also disappears. They were sitting together at night and telling ghost stories. One of the soldiers was keeping an eye outside the castle through his telescope. One of them tells his group he has found a journal of a 18-year-old girl from the basement. She might live in this house. At the same time, they hear some voices from the fireplace. Chris says the voices seem like Morse code. Eugene decodes it and says he is saying, I have no legs, suddenly, the voices stop. One soldier states that they should go towards the attic because it is a good lookout spot. Going there, the soldier who got the journal tries to read it. All the words were removed. Then he notices a photo. His candle blows out. When he relit the candle, the family disappears from the photo. The soldier, who is standing on attic's window with a rifle, feels someone is watching him. But he ignores this. He notices a girl hanged. Then the dead body disappears. Suddenly, a boy ghost appears in front of his telescope. Meanwhile, the other soldier arrives who saw the boy ghost at night. One soldier thought that it's best to hide in the forest before the German soldiers arrive. But Chris says we should protect this castle. When they go to the attic, they notice a pentagram. As they move the cupboard and it touches the pentagram, the door closes on the soldier's hand. All his fingers were broken. The other soldier notices the hanging girl body's reflection. But he notices nothing when he looks back. The group hears some weird voice from the radio. They confirm that the castle is haunted. One soldier says it's a good idea to leave before the German soldiers arrive. But again, they hear voices from a fireplace. Like they heard before. While decoding, Eugene writes, if you leave, you will die. The German soldiers arrives. The German soldiers gets off their truck to enter the castle, but they find all the doors and windows were locked. They hear banging noises coming from the castle as they were leaving. The soldiers immediately return. One of them throws a bomb inside while breaking the window. Butchie lays on it. The German soldiers came inside, and Chris shoots them. As the soldiers arrive in the castle, Chris moves to the basement to hide. Chris hides and trips one of the soldiers from the stairs. He falls. During this, a soldier feels someone coming from behind him in the study room. As he stood up to end him, there wasn't any soldier. There was the ghost woman, and the soldier burned while seeing him. A German soldier checks on Butchie's charred body with Chris laying next to him. As he turns Chris's body, Chris stabs him. Butchie is shown the next morning with severe burns. They give him morphine. Many German soldiers were attacked by ghosts. 
Chris discovered from the journal that the family's father was burned alive in the study, the place where Butchie was burned. His son was drowned in the bathtub, and his daughter was hanged in the attic. They decide to bury them. A soldier checks Butchie. Suddenly, Butchie awakes and holds Chris. He kept screaming, this isn't real, and then he dies. They went in the basement to find more clues. They find another journal there. It was empty. Chris says we should bury the dead bodies. Suddenly, the writing appears in the journal he has in his hand. He wanted to read it too, but his other member Eugene doesn't let him read. First and foremost, he emphasizes the importance of returning. They bury Butchie's dead body outside the castle and leave. On the way, they meet the survivors whom they meet at the start of the movie. They also notice an ambulance. The knight appears while walking. They were in the forest from where they started their journey. After awaking the next morning, they find a word written on the floor. They immediately leave. On the way, they again find the ambulance. They noticed it while returning to the castle. They again reach the castle. They realize here they are trapped. When they decode the spells of the forest from the journal of the castle, they learn that this is a Muslim curse. Wherever they will go will return to this castle. Chris decides to talk to the ghosts. He sprinkles a powder on the ground. As the ghosts walk, there are their footprints on the floor. They discover they are moving forward Chris. The ghost grabs Chris and takes him outside. The other soldiers shoot in the ghost's direction, but nothing happens. They take Chris to another house. They found the bodies. They bury them. And while burying the father, the writing in the journal changes. It was stated here that the family was Afghani rather than German. They saved non-Muslims while putting their lives at risk. They again go inside the castle and search for clues. They find changes in the journal. It was written that the dead body's power would increase if buried. Meanwhile, the light blinks. One of the men sits in the ritual pentagram. He saw the ghosts. The ghosts attack the soldiers. The soldiers attack them with their guns. Chris' memories begin to return. He and his men are not Second World War veterans but in fact soldiers of the present-day American military. Their final mission in Afghanistan was to evacuate a family called the Helwigs, who had been collaborating with the Americans, before an Islamic State patrol ambushed them. Ordered to hide by their CIA handler, the men watch from a hiding spot as the Helwigs are interrogated by the commander. They are about to intervene when enemy reinforcements arrive, causing Chris to order his men to do nothing. Despite the mother of the family's pleas for help, they watch as the father is burned to death, the daughter is hung and the son is drowned. The forces leave and the men prepare to depart before the despairing mother of the family detonates a suicide bomb, mauling the five men. With her dying breath she utters the word, Vetrulik, a word that the men had witnessed in their simulation and which is revealed to be an ancient curse that forces its recipients to endlessly relive their trauma. Back in the hospital the power fluctuates, confusing the medical staff. Chris realizes that the curse is real and that the spirits of the Helwig family now haunt the simulation that the men are experiencing. Convinced the only way to lift the curse is to confront the family, apologize and atone for their sins, Chris begs to be returned to the simulation. He reawakens where his experiences began, camped out at night with his comrades as a figure watches from the shadows. The film ends here. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.